Dear parents, as we all know, these are exceptional times. Schools are closed, kids have to stay home, the world news is dominated by facts and figures about the coronavirus. We've never lived a situation like this before. So, it's obvious that many of us have questions and look for answers on how to deal with these exceptional times. The school counseling team wants to contribute as good as possible to your and your kid's health and well-being during this period. We start with this video in which we would like to give you 10 tips that can help you to deal with the current situation. Our tips are just sit together and talk. Check in on your kids and the COVID-19. Reduce news exposure. Reassure safety. Give sense of control. Set up a daily structure. Give each other space and get together. Stay in touch. Learn from the experience and be a role model to your kids. First of all, just sit together and talk. One of the most important things in these times is communication. It makes that we feel connected to each other and safe. So, sit together and talk about the current situation, about fears and feelings, but also about other things that make you laugh and that make you feel happy. Check in on your kids and COVID-19. Talk to your child and find out what your kid knows about the subject and how it feels about it. It's important in this situation that you follow your child's lead. Some kids may want to spend time talking, but others don't, and that's okay. Don't offer more detail than your kid is interested in. Further, we suggest to give each appropriate information. Not all information is appropriate for all ages. Our suggestions are, for kids under seven years, if they have questions, these kids need brief, simple information that should balance facts about the coronavirus with the reassurance that homes are safe and that adults are there to keep them healthy and to take care of them if they do get sick. For kids between 7 and 12 years old, we suggest to answer these kids' questions. They probably have more questions than the younger ones, but they may need assistance in separating reality from rumor and fantasy. Also, reassure them that adults are making efforts to prevent germs from spreading. For teens, kids above 12, they are able to discuss the news and what's happening in a more in-depth way. Make sure that they get factual information about what's happening and no rumors. Having truthful knowledge can help them give a sense of control. In general, if your kid asks about something and you don't know the answer, just say so. Use the question as a chance to find it out together. Tip 3 is reduce news exposure. For smaller kids, we suggest that um, you don't give them access to info that can upset them. So don't watch or listen to information that can make them scared. Give them facts that can reduce anxiety. For example, what we already told about adults that are looking for solutions and that are taking care about them. Stress that the kid is safe in the family. For older kids, it's important to be aware of how your kid gets information online. There's a lot of websites, there's a lot of factual and good news, but there's also a lot of um, misleading news and rumors that are spread. So keep an eye on that. Point them to age-appropriate and correct information. That's our second tip. And stress also that the kid is safe in the family. Tip four, we already told you, reassure safety. So tell your children that adults are working on a solution, that adults are there to take care, 
And very important, be available for questions to talk about what scares them. So be available for questions and be available to talk about what scares them. What you can also mention is that kids don't seem to get as sick as adults. That can also give them a sense of safety. Tip five is give your kids a sense of control. So give children, for example, actions to protect themselves and to prevent infection. Teach them the right hand hygiene. Show them how to sneeze or cough in the right way, that's in the elbow. And talk about social distancing in a way they understand that they have to keep a distance between themselves and other persons. Second, let kids get in contact with their loved ones. Um, for example, by Skype, by phone or by video call. Kids are often worried about their friends, family, their grandparents, especially the grandparents now, uh, because the virus is like dangerous, especially for old people. So get them in contact with the ones they are worried about. Then let them also know that it is normal to feel stressed out at times and give them the tools to lower the stress. There is a bunch of meditation and mindfulness apps online you can do some physical activities, you can listen to some calming music, just try to relax and also laugh together. That also helps. So tip six is to set up a daily structure. So try to keep up with regular routines. For example, um, wake up at the same time, um, have breakfast at the same time, do schoolwork at the same time, and spend leisure time at the same moments. Um, make a schedule for schoolwork. And tip three is also important, keep on moving. So keeping physically active is critical to boosting the mood. Uh, what can you do? You can play in the backyard, um, you can go out, or if you cannot go outside, be creative to get everyone moving inside. What can you do? Watch some exercise videos on YouTube together, download apps uh, that uh, make you exercise, set up an obstacle parkour, just be creative, but make sure that you have enough physical activity daily. Another tip is to get things done. Um, it's important during a situation that everything is changing and that there is not that many much structure that um, you can uh, accomplish tasks. That's important for both children and parents. When it comes to children, uh, we can um, refer to school assignments that can help. They can, for example, make a scheme where or a diary where they can just cross the things they have done and it will make them feel better also. Tip seven, give each other space and at the same time get together. So our first tip is respect the time alone that some kids or some students ask. It can be hard when you are used as a family to have your own activities to be all of a sudden intensively all together in the house. So it's important to give each other the space you need to get used to this situation and to have some me time. On the other hand, it's also important to enjoy the spare time together, to try to reconnect or to try to connect and to do things together and to laugh. laugh laughing is really important to keep up the mood. So watch funny movies, do board games together, um, gather around the table, talk, make jokes, just that you bring some lightness in life, which is really important to keep up the good mood. Tip eight is um, stay in touch. So mental health needs feeling connected with others. So for smaller kids, that means um, that you can schedule some video calls or some phone calls with friends and family. For older kids, uh, let them connect to their friends to talk. Um, to connect and to share experiences. It's important to keep up the good mood and the mental health. Tip nine is please learn from the experience. So we are 
in a really um, exceptional time, but uh, make the best out of it. Teach your kids what it is to be a great citizen, what it is to be a good citizen. What is it? It's like to take care about each other. Like this is a time that we can really show that taking care about each other and uh, taking responsibility for each other is important to uh, solve the problem and to come to solutions. Our last tip, uh, but one of the most important tips is be as a parent a role model. So show your kids by your own doing what they should be doing. When it comes to the news, for example, consider your own reactions. If you freak out yourself, your kids will probably also freak out. So uh, try to stay calm and try uh, to make a distinction between facts and rumors. Manage the family stress. Try um, to keep calm yourself. Um, take care of yourself and your own health also because you can only be like available for your kids and be calm if you are calm and healthy yourself. When it comes to hygiene, wash your hands properly, practice social distancing, sneeze, sneeze and cough in your elbow. These are things uh, kids see you doing and they will um, do the same. So uh, please be a role model um, in, when it comes to hygiene also. So that brings us to the last slide and that's a summary again of all the tips we gave. Sit together and talk. Check in on your kids and COVID-19. Reduce news exposure. Reassure safety. Give sense of control. Set up a daily structure. Give each other space and get together. Stay in touch. Learn from the experience and be a role model to your kids. So. If you read the green letters you see, just do it. That's our message to you. Um, we're sure that you can and uh, know that we are always available if needed um, for further questions or for further help. Thank you.